So good afternoon, everybody. And before I start my speech, I would like to ask all of you one question. Who here wants to become someone that they have always dreamed to become? Please raise up your hand. Well, I know I have. That someone could be as simple as a lawyer, doctor, or even a president of the United States. And who you want to become may be very different from the person sitting right next to you. You may want to become a doctor, and the person sitting right next to you may want to become a lawyer. You want to become a doctor because you, you're passionate about helping other people. And the person sitting next to you, he wants to become a lawyer because he's passionate about law. And that's someone we want to become. We want to become them because we are passionate about what they do and the actions and, and the consequences of their actions. And not the money or the fame. As a child, I wanted to become a car designer. Car was the first thing that I really got myself into. I remember I would always ask my grandma, Grandma, can I buy another car model? And she would always buy me another car model, and I would always admire them until she has bought all the car models from the store and that she stops buying me any more car models. And that was just how passionate I was about cars. But as I grew up, I became less and less passionate about cars and cars and car designing in general because I had to attend school and it took out a huge chunk of my time and I barely had time to think about cars and car designing in general. And it was until one day when I saw a beautiful, beautiful car on the street and I thought this was what I want to do. I want to design something just as beautiful, elegant, and exquisite as this. And I said, I would be able to do this for the rest of my life. You see, having passion is what leads you to the person you want to become. And the more passionate you are about becoming this person, about what they do, and how their actions affect other people, then the more likely you're going to succeed in becoming this person. And right after I became passionate about cars again, I was reading many, many books on how how each part of a car works, and reading history of, of automobile. It was really fascinating. And when you're passionate about the thing, a particular thing, you want to learn every aspect and every detail about it. So I thought to myself, if you, when you're passionate about something, you want to learn everything about it, then can we apply that to the things we learn or things that we are forced to learn in our daily lives? As a student, I have to learn many things in school, and not all of them I, I enjoy. Like some courses, I, I really enjoy taking them, but some other courses, I was just being forced to take them. And I remember when I was in grade nine, <laughs> I, I had to take math and English. Those are the two courses that you, everybody has to take. And in the beginning of the year, I was really passionate about math. You know, it's math, everyone, everyone loves math. And then I've always been a strong math student, and I thought to myself, oh, it's going to be another fascinating year for me. And it went smoothly in the beginning. But as I started to progress, I, I did not understand a few concepts the teacher was teaching. And I, I, was, I was struggling. I, I did not understand. And the funny thing is that I did not ask for help. I just left it the way it was. And I, I continued that for a few weeks and it, until to the, to, it was to the point where I, I just couldn't keep up and I had lost hope in math. I was no longer passionate about math. On the other hand, in English, I was really passionate about English. I have been passionate about English since, I don't know, grade, grade, grade A. And I stayed passionate about English for the entire year. I might not be the best English student, but I was putting in hours and hours into uh, trying to improve my English skills. I remember my teacher would assign our class uh, one chapter of a book to read, and by the next day, I would have finished the entire book already. And that was just how passionate about, uh, I was about English. And so I was spending hours and hours in English, but then I wouldn't even bother to spend 10 to 30 minutes to understand a few simple math concepts. And by the end of the year, I came to a conclusion that I, I did not do well in math because I wasn't passionate about it. And when I look at my mark, which was almost a fail, I did not even care. Like, <laughs> you might think that's funny, but I really, honestly, I did not care about 
my, my almost failing math mark of, because I was simply not passionate about it. I don't care if I fail. On the other hand, English, I was doing exceedingly well, and I, really, I was really proud of myself for that because I really cared about English. So once you stop caring or being passionate about something you learned, then it doesn't really affect you in any way, even though that thing might be really important. And for me, I wanted to become a car designer. And if you're bad at math, I don't know how you're going to become a car designer. So, and so I came to the conclusion that I was not passionate about math, and that was why I, I did so bad. But I was asking myself, how do I become passionate about math again, right? It's math after all. It cannot be that hard. So I, all I did was that I convinced myself to believe that math was not as hard as it was. I changed my perspective. Instead of seeing math as something that it is too hard to understand, something that is useless, something that I was really bad at, I started to see it as a friend, a friend that I encounter every single day, a friend that we use and we interact with every single day. And most importantly, if I want to become a car designer, I, I must be pretty good with math and numbers. So after changing my perspective, and how I see math, I immediately start to feel more interested in, and more passionate in math than I was before. I start to read books on famous uh, mathematicians. I start to learn sim uh, simple formulas and concepts. And I start to put in hours and hours uh, into uh, improving my math skills. And the, my hard work has paid off. My math skills have improved drastically. Uh, since before. And passion, being passionate about what you learn is crucial in life because a lot of things, I know a lot of students here, they're being forced to learn things such as piano and other things such as another language, for example, and they often don't see a point in learning them and they're not passionate about the things they're learning. And when they're not passionate about the things they're learning, even though the parents are like spending a lot of money on their education, the kids do not care. They, they're not passionate about it. They don't care if they don't do well in the things that their parents are forcing them to learn. So instead, the kids should start taking take initiative and to change your perspective and see the things differently. They should start to see, for example, piano. They should start to see the benefits of playing piano. They should start to see, uh, see the benefit of learning another language. And by changing your perspective, it does not just allow you to find your passions or rediscover passions that you have already lost. It also allows you to understand other people a little bit better and it helps you to understand yourself just a little bit better. Imagine seeing yourself from a perspective of, uh, from the perspective of, of others. It will be a really totally different self that you're seeing. And imagine seeing Seeing, seeing through the world from a perspective of a person that you do not always understand. You could understand them maybe a little bit better, right? So I want you to go out here today to change your perspective and how you see the world or a few particular things in your life that you have always hated. Change your perspective and discover passions and things that you have never found so, or were so interesting. And passion is what will take you to the next level. And you will become that someone if you're passionate about what they do and their actions, how their actions will affect other people. You will not become that person if you're simply there for the money or fame. Because in this journey, you will experience ups and downs. And when you're in your darkest moment, if you're just there for the money and fame, you will not get through it. Because you're not passionate about what you're doing. And if you're not passionate about it, you will not put in that extra effort and time into what you're doing, and that is what distinguishes the best from the rest. So, if you want to become that someone you've always dreamed to become, find your passion. If you haven't found it yet, keep on looking for it. That thing that makes you wake up at 2 a.m. in the morning, that thing that makes you say, that is the thing I want to do for the rest of my life. And if you have found it, stay committed to it. Put in your time and effort into it. And don't give up. And be patient. So, by finding your passion, pursue it. Pursuing your passion, you will become the person you've always wanted to become. 
whether it is an astronaut, a scientist, or a mathematician. And who knows, you might even become the next Albert Einstein. Thank you.